you will need a desktop computer, a vacant PCIe X4, X8, or X16 slot on your motherboard, a GC573 capture card, a source to capture from, such as a console, a screwdriver, and two HDMI cables. You will need to use HDMI 2.0 cables to capture at the highest resolutions and frame rates. Step 1. Disable HDCP from the source you want to capture from. Disabling HDCP can be done in the settings menu of your console. It's going to be a little bit different depending on which console you have. For example, what I'm demonstrating here is on the PS4 Pro. Step 2. Physically install the capture card. The GC573 connects directly to the motherboard of a computer. To do this, first shut down your computer, turn the I.O. switch to off, and remove the plug to the power supply unit. Discharge static electricity from your body by touching an unpainted metal portion of your case as an extra precaution. Remove the front panel of your computer and remove the bracket in the back that lines up with the empty PCIe port you will attach your capture card to. Save the screw that you remove. Line up your capture card so the HDMI in and out ports line up with the space for the bracket you removed and gently push it into the PCIe slot. Don't jam it in, but it should be inserted fully. At this point, it will still be hanging down a bit, so it must be screwed into place. Take that screw you saved when removing the bracket and use it to screw the Aver Media Live Gamer 4K into place. Replace the front panel, plug the cable to your power supply back in, and turn the I.O. switch back to on. You can now turn your computer back on to download and install the Aver Media software. Step 3. Install and open AverMedia's RE Central software. Download the drivers and software from AverMedia's website, linked in the description. Install both, then open RE Central. Step 4. Run the RE Central bandwidth test. Before plugging in your capture source, this step can save you a lot of time and headache. Click the gear on the upper left, then click your card and run a bandwidth test. The goal is to fill the circle shown and get O's across the grid. If you do, Proceed to step 5. Also check P010 at the top as that's what you'll need for HDR. If not, I have an extra step at the end of this to maximize your bandwidth and fix this problem. Step 5. Connect your console or other source to the capture card. Plug one end of an HDMI cable into the device you'll be capturing from. Plug the other end into the HDMI in port of the GC573. Plug another HDMI cable into the monitor you intend to play on and plug the other end of that cable into the HDMI out port of the capture card. If your console isn't already on, turn it on, and you should see your footage in both the RE Central software and on the monitor you're passing the footage through to. In RE Central, you can now choose between different frame rates and resolutions. Here you can change your capture card settings, and this is where you can select HDR by doing P010. If you're using footage that actually is HDR, the HDR icon will be available. You can click that, and now when you record, it'll be in HDR. Step 6. Send capture card footage to other software. To do this, first, close RE Central. This is because the GC573 can only be used in one app at a time. Then open OBS and add the Aver Media Live Gamer 4K as a capture source. Make sure that it's capturing at the right resolution and frame rate. Also note that even if your game is actually in HDR, OBS itself does not create HDR files. You can even use this footage in other apps like Zoom. For instance, if a camera was your capture source. And now you're done. Extra step, if you failed the bandwidth test. If your computer failed the bandwidth test, the simplest fix is to insert your capture card into a different PCIe slot. Usually your graphics card will be occupying your PCIe X16 slot. If you have an extra X16 or X8 slot, try that first. If not, You'll have to swap your graphics card into the X4 slot and your capture card into the X16 slot. Make sure both devices are properly secured and proceed back to step 4 to ensure you can record at 4K 60 frames per second in HDR.